In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how to use listkit.io to generate more meetings, close more deals, and scale your business with the data inside of the listkit platform. For context, my name is Christian, co-founder at Client Ascension and Listkit. I've written cold emails for the past four years for thousands of B2B businesses across agency, SaaS, IT, consulting, physical products, insurance, funding, you name it, I've written cold emails for it. And I want to show you how to leverage ListKit's data so that you can get results with cold email. Because I have a ton of training on the actual copywriting side of things all over my channel. But what I don't have is a really good data SOP or tutorial on how to get the actual leads that you need for cold outreach. Full transparency, I am a co-founder at ListKit, but I firmly believe it is the easiest, most simple way to generate leads for your business without wasting hours of your time formatting spreadsheets, verifying emails, the whole nine yards. Let's dive in. So pull up in front of me is the ListKit interface on the B2B search. And you'll see there's two different segmentations here, companies and people. If you want to filter based on the type of company you want, obviously go to the companies tab. And then in the people tab, the only thing you really want to worry about is the job title. Because if you want a list of CEOs or CMOs or account executives, this is your place to be. But on the company side, we can filter based on funding, industry, technology, employees, keywords, and country. You know, lots to work with here. But the ones that I want to focus on first are the industry and the keywords. Because we we have hundreds of industries in here. So let's say you want to work with pharmaceuticals. This is going to cast a very wide net across all of the pharmaceutical industry. If I want to filter it down, I'm going to use a keyword to trim the fat and get rid of anybody that's not a good fit. I'm actually going to use marketing for this because a lot of you are going to relate to marketing more than pharmaceuticals. So marketing services, marketing and advertising, advertising services, advertising, apply filters. I'm now going to have a list of several, okay, 9.8 million people in the marketing field, which is great. It's a really big search and a wide audience, but it's not specific enough to confidently run a cold email campaign targeting those people. So I'm going to filter this based on keywords of TikTok, TikTok shop, TikTok ad, TikTok marketing. I'm only going to have people that actively do or sell TikTok services to people, you know, to marketing agents or to e-com brands or to whoever they're working with. And I'm also going to filter it down based on US, UK, Canada, Australia, the primary English speaking markets. And I have a list of 21,000 people that do some sort of TikTok marketing. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to have a cold email script that says, hey, we can help you generate 10 to 12 new TikTok leads a month for your agency. Whereas if I just have a list of 9.8 million agencies, I can't say TikTok leads because almost none of the people in that 9.8 million people search actually do TikTok services. So the more specific your list gets, the better copy that you can write and the more results you're going to get from your cold email campaigns. I have a campaign running right now targeting web design companies like web design agencies. And for every 120 emails that I'm sending, I'm getting a positive response. I'll pull it up real quick. All right. So pulled up in front of me is the web design campaign only reached out to 3,300 leads. 26 positive replies. I'm not good at math, but that's like one in every 150 people is responding positively. And you can see the copy says, we can bring you 10 to 12 web design leads per month. I'm not saying leads, clients. I'm getting specific on web design because guess what? Anybody that does web design is going to perk up at this and be like, are you taking on new web design clients right now? It's specific, it's relevant, and people are interested. So that's why I highly recommend that you filter based on industry and then filter again based on keywords to get a list that's specific enough to write copy that says, are you taking on new web design clients right now? Because if I just prospected any old agency, how many of them can relate to the web design messaging? Not many. So that's why I use the industry filter combined with the keywords filter to go a level deeper. If I only want smaller agencies that need help with marketing, I'm going to filter based on one to 200 employees. I'm honestly going to take out the 51 to 200, one to 50 employees, 16,000 people in the search. Let's say I only want the CEO, the owner, and the chief marketing officer. This is going to make my search pretty small, but for the sake of the video, okay, 415 people. I would have to expand this a little bit until I have a list that is, you know, adequate size. 1.9K people. And before I export the list, I'm going to use ListKit's data visualization tool to make sure that the list is actually accurate. Because if I go over here and I see all the job titles and the industries, you'll be able to eliminate anybody that doesn't match your criteria. With other tools, you can, you know, make an inference based on the first 25 leads. With the data visualization, you don't have to make an inference because you can see every single job title that is in this list. Obviously, it's like director, creative director, founder, everything looks good. So this list looks good to go. I'm going to save the filters so I have it for the next time I 
many to list. TikTok agencies, save. And I'm gonna proceed to check out and I want, you know, 10 people per company. And it looks like 1,500 people are in this search. Yes, this is a little bit small. I could have expanded it, but I wanted to go specific for the sake of this video. I'm gonna redeem these credits and ListKit is going to triple verify the list for me. So my final order might be like 1,200 or 1,300 people. That's because we're getting rid of all of the leads that are not accurate, up to date. The syntax is incorrect. The emails are gonna bounce. We don't sell you the bad leads like other data tools do. We only give you the accurate, verified, up-to-date leads that are actually going to deliver and reach the main inbox. While that list is being built, I'm going to launch a new campaign live on video to show you how it works. But um, I want to show you the intent database real fast because we can also grab a list of leads of people that are looking for TikTok marketing or TikTok for business or TikTok shop or lead generation right? Lead generation software, lead gen consulting, lead gen services, right? Video marketing. Like we have thousands of intent topics that you can come in here and pull from online video marketing, video marketing software, video marketing strategy, X, Y, Z. And these all work very well. And you can actually pull a list of people that are looking for the services that you sell on the internet. And these have the same filters. So let's just say I want a list of people that are looking for TikTok marketing, TikTok advertising, right? Okay, great. And I go over here to the people search job title, CEO, owner, founder, CMO, right? I now have a list of CEOs and CMOs that are looking for TikTok marketing, and I can go ahead and export this list. Intent database, B2B database, they exist separately, but they're both within ListKit. So you have two dynamic databases at your disposal when you're building a list. So those are the two database features that we have. Next, we have email verification. So if you have a CSV file or somebody that, you know, a list of leads that you want to verify, you can come in here, grab a list of leads and throw it into our verification tool, and it will We'll verify those leads for you right case in point being if you have a list of leads from another database that you need to update or verify or refresh we also have an email verification tool that will do it for you because yes all of our leads here are triple verified but if you have a list of leads from an external source no hard feelings come in here with list kit and verify it right because we don't want you ruining your domain reputation and going to spam using another software's leads we'll happily you know help you verify those leads and give you only the accurate up-to-date ones to make sure that you're not going to spam right and you can see the search results here, 76% good, 73% good, 62% good, 86% good. Like if you didn't do this verification, you would have, what's that? 34% of your emails bad or risky and probably going to spam and bouncing. That would completely ruin your domain health and your domain reputation. So take advantage of our email verification tool and let's move on to order history. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. You can see all of the past orders that you've made. The good part is, and the cool part is that you can easily reorder your list. So you can literally just reorder and add in another 5,000 leads. Simple. But the cool thing that you can do with order history is make an automated workflow. So every, let's say seven days, I'm going to pull another 1,000 leads and send them to my email campaign. Whether that's in SmartLead, ListKit's internal email engine coming soon, wink, wink, or HubSpot, you basically will have an, a workflow set up like a Zapier flow that will pull a new list of leads every one, seven, 10, 30 days and add them to your campaigns hands-free. So hopefully this feature makes sense. Like if you run out of leads on a, a smart lead campaign on day 30, you have to come back to your data tool like ListKit, grab a new list of leads, plug those leads into your campaign. With automated workflows, it will just replenish your campaign every set amount of days based on whatever cadence you give it. So every week there's new leads being poured into your campaigns and they just run evergreen forever. You're basically going from a cyclical campaign that ends on day 30 to an evergreen campaign that will have a new batch of leads going into the top of the funnel indefinitely until you hit the entire TAM. So automated workflows is a really cool feature that a lot of people sleep on, but it is powerful. Like every 30 days, thousand new leads going into my campaign hands-free, right? Really powerful tool. The learn section, I have a full nine part video series going over cold email KPIs, lead sourcing. You get this for free once you sign up for list kit, writing creatives, follow-ups, inbox management, full cold email setup, all of that fun stuff. We also have a Slack community that you can join 100% for free. This will give you access to, you know, the co-founders from ListKit, customer support, weekly Zoom calls, the whole nine yards. And then we have a big, big database of help center articles. So I'm going to give a sneak peek real quick. And we do have email sending coming very soon. You guessed it. You can send cold emails from ListKit very soon under the same login as your database tool. Complete game changer. And we also have, look here, domains, inboxes, email accounts. So 
you can run a full cold email campaign from inside ListKit in the very near future, which is very, 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 very exciting. Real fast though, the list of leads is ready. It's way smaller than I anticipated, which means that most of the leads in that search were straight up undeliverable and we would have bounced anyways, you know, which is a good thing because if you pulled that list from a different data tool, 1200 of them would have been inaccurate and you would have had major issues and you would have paid for the leads that aren't even deliverable. So I'm going to launch a campaign real fast, create campaign, import the leads. We all know how to do this hopefully by now importing the csv file i'm going to spin up some sample copy and i'm going to launch a campaign to wrap up this tutorial to show you that we practice what we preach with list kit hey first name are you looking for more tiktok clients right now we helped our tiktok content agency generate 63 leads from a single cold email campaign all using a loom video cold email pitch Mind if I share a quick video going over the cold email strategy we used? I'm going to do an angle that's like company name X list kit intro. Hey, first name. I'll skip the fluff and get right to it. We can help you generate 20 leads per month interested in your TikTok services, all from cold email. Our TikTok marketing client got 63 interested leads from a single campaign, and I'm confident we can deliver similar results for you. Interested in seeing the cold email script that got them 63 TikTok leads? I'm going super value-based throughout this entire thing so that people are actually ready to raise their hand and say yes. Saw your in charge company name. Are you taking on more TikTok? TikTok clients right now, we can bring you 20 TikTok leads per month with a mass personalized cold email campaign. All you have to do is manage the conversations and book calls with interested prospects or interested brands. Open to checking out a video explaining further. That's done. Let's do one follow-up step and I'll add on to this later, but I'll, for the sake of this video, I want to keep it short. Literally, my follow-up emails are just copy-paste of the initial creative that I write in email one because you don't need to overcomplicate this at all. I recorded a quick video going over the exact script template we used for our client. Find if I share the video here. Then let's do, I recorded a quick video explaining how we can bring you 63 talk leads per month from a cold email campaign mind if i share the video with you here boom right there we go cold email campaign has been built from list kit data you watch me do it live on video let's do we have a specific subset of domains that we use shout out alphoric they are our inbox provider select all apply save email accounts boom boom schedule monday friday new york time obviously save campaign settings. I don't want to track email opens or clicks. I don't want to do 100% follow-ups. I want to do 70% new leads. Save and next, and let's push this bad boy live. The campaign is live. That is a full ListKit platform breakdown. Like you saw, I did tease the sending within ListKit directly. That is coming in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub if you're new here. Subscribe to ListKit, and we will help you scale with cold email. Peace.